Hello today's video we have the following content. Do you know who are the 8 martial arts masters in modern history? No one can surpass the first one, and the 8th one is Bruce Lee. In modern China, there are many martial arts masters. Huo Yuan Jia, Bruce Lee, Wang Fi Hong and others have promoted the development of martial arts, but they are not the top ones. 8 martial artists such as Sun Luting have superb skills, integrating multiple martial arts, winning glory for the country and showing the breadth and depth of Chinese martial arts. When mentioning modern history, most people will first think of the invasion of the powers and the warlords. Over the past hundred years, wars have frequently broken out on the land of China, the constant invasion of the powers, and the disputes among warlords have painted a picture of backwardness and humiliation, and the people have suffered endless suffering. However, in this dark period, many national heroes who are loyal to the country have also emerged. Faced with the oppression of Western powers, martial artists from all over China have stepped forward to fight for the interests of the weak country. Huo Yuan Jia achieved great success in the martial arts world. He not only defeated the strongman from Russia and Britain, but also promoted the development of Chinese martial arts. Bruce Lee defeated the provocation of calling him the sick man of East Asia with absolute strength, and promoted Chinese Kung Fu to the world. In addition, Hong Kong masters such as Wang Fi Hong also made important contributions to the spread of Chinese Kung Fu. However, the Bruce Lee and Wang Fi Hong we know are not the best among the martial arts masters in modern times. Even Huo Yuan Jia, who was famous for his invincibility, is not the best. Then, Lao Yao began to introduce the eight best martial artists in modern times to everyone one by one. Kung Fu Superstar Bruce Lee Bruce Lee has loved fighting since he was a child and has very high martial arts skills. In his early years, he worked hard to learn more than martial arts, and then practiced Tai Chi, Hong Kwan, Kalifiquan and Mantis Kwan. Introduced by his good friend Zhang Suoking, Bruce Lee worshipped Ip Man as his teacher and began to practice Wing Chun. Among the many boxing techniques, the most eye-catching one is the Jeet Kune Do founded by Bruce Lee, which is a skill with intercepting fists as its core. As the first Chinese martial arts star to emerge in Hollywood, Bruce Lee, who has a cool body, has gathered dozens of Kung Fu. With amazing explosive power, he has set off a series of Kung Fu storms overseas, and the magical martial arts of the East have also opened the eyes of foreigners. Until now, the first Chinese celebrity known to many foreigners is Bruce Lee. The unsatisfactory part is that in order to make the body of martial arts more three-dimensional and cater to the aesthetics of film and television works, Bruce Lee also added some fancy moves and unique howling sounds to Kung Fu, thus losing the original flavor of martial arts. Sun Yat-sen's bodyguard Du Xin Wu. Du Xin Wu is a disciple of Master Sui Wai, the second-generation head of the Natural Gate, and has served as a close bodyguard for Sun Yat-sen and Song Jia Oren. Du Xin Wu is smart since he was a child and liked to recite books. In addition to reading, he also liked to watch adults practice martial arts. When he was seven years old, Du Xin Wu met the warrior Shi Bao through his family servant Wang Yongqing, and learned the flying locust stone, and he never made any mistakes afterwards. When he was 12 years old, Xin Wu went to Baogai Mountain and learned the unique skills of Wudang boxing under the guidance of the old Taoist Yu Hu. A year later, Du Xin Wu, who had returned from his studies, once again imitated the ancients and posted notices everywhere seeking a teacher, my skills are poor, and I sincerely seek teaching. I only need a competition. Those who can beat me will be hired with a large sum of money. As soon as the notice for seeking a teacher was announced, applicants from all walks of life came to challenge, but no one could win. In the end, Du Xin Wu was defeated by Master Sui Wai, who was short in stature but had strong martial arts skills, and then followed Master Sui Ai to learn the internal martial arts of the natural gate. Later, Du Xin Wu joined the Tong Meng who under the recommendation of Song Jia Oren and devoted himself to the cause of anti quang and reform. Because of his high martial arts skills and deep sense of righteousness, he was appointed as the bodyguard of Sun Yat-sen and Song Jia Oren. Bag was Hang Duong Hei Chuan. Duong Hei Chuan was a martial artist who lived during the Jia King period and was also the founder of Bag Was Hang. Duong Hei Chuan grew up in Wenning County, Hebei Province. He was passionate about martial arts since he was a child and was gifted. He could learn the martial arts passed down from his family. He often traveled between Shuang County and Wenning County to make friends with like-minded martial artists. At the same time, Duong Hei Chuan was upright and resolute, hated evil, and often stood up for the weak. When he was young, Duong Hei Chuan was strong and tall, with long arms, wide palms, and was proficient in fighting. At that time, he pursued the truth, 
traveled around the world, and changed his name to Hei Chun in order to prevent his hometown people from suffering trouble. It is said that when Dong Hei Chun was visiting Jiuhu Mountain in Anhui, he accidentally met the young Pan Laozu and obtained his true teachings, so he founded Bagwas Hang Boxing. Warlord Sword Master Li Jinglin. Li Jinglin is a famous figure in both the martial arts and political circles. He is not only the successor of Wu Dang Swordsmanship, but also a Biang warlord. He can be said to be the highest ranking official among all the martial arts masters. Under the guidance of his father, he learned the martial arts skills of Yang Qingmen and Erlang Man since he was a child, and was then sent to the Yuzi Army Army School in Fengshan for education. At that time, as the inheritor of Wu Dang Sword and the head of the Yuzi Army, Song Wei found that Li Jinglin had the foundation of martial arts and was very smart, so he accepted him as a disciple and taught him the secrets of Wu Dang Sword. After leaving the Yuzi Army, Li Jinglin became a disciple of Yang Luchen's third son and learned Yang style Tai Chi. In 1903, Li Jinglin's Kung Fu gradually faded, and he went to Baodian Army Speed Chang Wu Bai School to study, and he was an alumnus with Wu Pifu, Sun Chu An Fang and others. After graduation, Li Jinglin's career development was smooth, and he served as the commander of the First Front Army of the Fengshan Army. Later, Zhang Zulin revoked all of Li Jinglin's positions, causing him to leave the army. He then took up a teaching position at the Zhejiang National Martial Arts Museum and established the Shandong National Martial Arts Museum. Hun Fist Master Wang Fihong. Wang Fihong, a martial artist in the late Qing Dynasty and the Republic of China, was famous for his outstanding lion dance skills and excellent Chinese medicine. Wang Fihong followed his father to learn martial arts at the age of three, and learned Tiger Fist and Crane Fist. Although his father repeatedly opposed his martial arts practice, Wang Fihong still persisted, even skipping classes and secretly watching his father practice martial arts on the roadside. At the age of seven or eight, Wang Fihong officially followed his father to make a living by performing in the rivers and lakes. In 1869, Wang Fihong met Lin Fuching and his son, the high disciples of Hong Kwan's successor to Kiao San, while performing on the street, and rescued them. In order to express his gratitude, Lin Fuching taught Wang Fihong the unique skills of iron coil and flying lead. Thinking back then, foreigners were doing evil in Guangzhou, and Wang Fihong took the lead and broke the arrogance of foreigners many times. On weekdays, Wang Fihong also stood up for justice and punished criminals severely, so he became famous. Decades later, Wang Fihong's legendary story was put on the screen, making this martial arts master famous and winning the love of audiences across the country. Martial Arts Master Yang Luchen Yang Luchen was the first master in Chinese history to promote Tai Chi to its peak. Back then, Yang Luchen spent 18 years in Qinjiaga to learn boxing, and finally realized the essence of Chen-style Tai Chi by Chen Changxing. After reaching the peak of his practice, Yang Luchen returned to his hometown to teach boxing. His moves were extremely skillful, his moves were as fast as lightning, invincible, and no one could beat him, leaving all masters far behind. In his later years, Yang Luchen taught Tai Chi in the palace. Because he had many disciples, and most of them came from famous families, he received special courtesy, which further consolidated the status and influence of Tai Chi. In addition to his superb martial arts, Yang Luchen was also a humble and respectful martial artist, and he was a well-deserved master. Huo Yuan Jia and Jing Wuman. Huo Yuan Jia's life was legendary, but his ending was regrettable. Yuan Jia was born into a family of escorts. He was weak when he was a child, but he had a talent for martial arts and extraordinary willpower, and he stood out among his brothers. When he was 24 years old, he defeated an opponent who had defeated his older and younger brothers by himself in less than five minutes. Since then, Huo's father began to pay attention to him and taught him all his martial arts. Huo Yuan Jia later upgraded his ancestral secret sect fist to Mizong Yi which brought his ancestral boxing to a new height. In his prime, Yuan Jia continued to defeat various martial artists, and thus became famous and was honored as Huo's strongman. In the early 20th century, Huo Yuan Jia successfully defeated strongmen from Russia and Britain, which made those European champions no longer dare to challenge. Later, he beat the Japanese leader to the point of breaking bones, while his disciples won five consecutive victories over Japanese masters. In 1910, Huo Yuan Jia founded the Jingwu Gymnastics Association in Shanghai. However, in the second duel with the Japanese, Huo Yuan Jia was severely framed and eventually died of poison at the age of 42. Sun Muding, the best in the world. 
The above-mentioned martial arts masters each have their own specialties and superb skills, that Mr. Sun Ludang is different. He combines many advantages into one and integrates them. His skills are like an obstacle-free state. Sun Ludang, the founder of Sun's Tai Chi, is proficient in the internal skills of many martial arts such as Tai Chi, Bagua Hang, and Zingai Quan. At the same time, he created the methodology of Zingai Quan's three-step skills, three-level principles, and three training methods, integrating the thoughts of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. He devoted his life to teaching boxing and traveled around China to teach martial arts. At the age of 60, Sun Luting faced the order of the Japanese Emperor Taisho and fought against the Japanese judo champion Kazuo Sakagami, and easily won. Afterwards, he rejected the high salary offered by the Japanese, showing great courage and determination. Chinese martial arts are profound and extensive. When the country was in danger, those top masters among the people did not retreat, but supported the backbone of the nation alone. They are truly worthy of the title of contemporary masters. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,